Hello and welcome to making radars in Tableau. So I am now using the latest version, which is 2024.2. So you will need this version to be able to achieve this uh, because it comes with a new feature called Viz Extensions. Okay, so over on the left hand side here in your marks card, you have your regular marks that you've been using within Tableau and you now have additional Viz Extensions. So you can add an extension. These are extensions to Tableau that are built either by Tableau or Salesforce or by people in the community. So you can search, so you can see that, you know, Tableau have one here. You can see free ones, Sandbox and works with Tableau Public. Um, and as I was scanning through these, I saw today that there is a radar um, viz type. Okay, so I added that extension and you can see that it falls into the list here. So I've added the Sankey and the Radar. Now in the past, these have been impossible, uh, close to impossible to uh, create in Tableau. You need a, a lot of heavy lifting in terms of the data. This makes it much more drag and drop friendly. But a couple of caveats. One thing is, is your data needs to be in a particular format. Now it doesn't need to be this short or, or only for one player. You could have a much bigger file but you will need all of your measures, so all of the things that should be on your radar in one column. Okay, so that's that's the key bit here. And I'm obviously gonna be using percentile because that's a kind of standard number then across, um, across all of the measures. Okay, so it wouldn't work if you're using values because obviously you'll have you know some values that are 100 and some values are great if they're two and so on. So that's why it uses percentiles. Okay, so let's have a look at building this from scratch. So I'm going to go and click my radar extension. You'll notice that uh, it gives you a bit of context about who has built it. So it's not built by Tableau uh, themselves. You can buy this extension for a tenner or they have a bunch of other extensions. You can go and check out their website uh, and they have a package kind of there. Um, I built this with the free one. Um, it seems that the only thing is that you can't like store your settings and stuff like that. So you have to do it each and every time. So again, just, just something to consider uh, on that. But pretty much let's get started. So I'm gonna put my measures as the spokes. I'm gonna put my percentile as the values. And what else did I have? I think that's it. Oh yeah, and I put the actual value as a tooltip. So when I hover over here, I can see the percentile and the value. Okay, so it looks pretty good and then really it's about kind of tidying this up to make it look how you want so I'll just scan through some of the settings so we can play around with the the line style you can make it linear cardinal or whatever that one is I'm gonna stick with linear and um, gonna bump up the strokes you can fill it in a little bit more and um, one thing that you, you probably will need to change is the auto range so you'll see here that you know, the max value becomes the edge of the circle, but actually I want my max value to be 100. Okay, so that means it stays consistent and it's always showing relative to uh, zero to 100, which is what I want from a percentile point of view. And again, you can mess around with grids so I can, you know, increase the number of lines. Look at the spacing, I can increase the width and things like that. Again, I can go for curved or straight lines. So there's loads of kind of nice settings. I can update the, the colors. I can add the labels. Really, really nice. Couple of clicks and you have your radar. And then the only other one you might want to do uh, is sort. And I want to manually sort the fields. So if I have a particular order that I want these to be in, because that makes a difference when I'm looking at the radar, I can then go and, and kind of format those. So a little bit of formatting, a little bit of tidying up, but but ultimately just selecting, you know, this, the spokes, the values, the tooltips and the details that you want, and you have a radar built. And if I had more data, I could easily add a, a player filter over here and I could scan through multiple players. So enjoy.